Boxing Reel for TV exclusive. 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 Let me just get a minute of your time. Let me just get a minute of your time. Because that's all I really need. I don't got to say a lot. Just let me get a minute. Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm Michael Maroy, creator of Too Real for TV.com. The other day I was on Facebook and a good friend of mine, an old school friend of mine, came to me and said, Maroy, man, I really like your post that you put on Facebook, man. You always saying some very insightful stuff, some positive words, man. He was like, you need to do like a web series and call it like a minute with Maroy. Now, I've had plenty of people approach me and tell me they wanted me to do radio shows and things like that, but a lot of times I get busy. I try to focus on my on, on making my films, my documentary films, so I really not try to put too much energy into anything else. However, when he said a minute with my Roy, it was just something about that that just hit me and it sounded real, it sounds slick. I'm like, a minute with my Roy, yeah, let me just get a minute of your time. Let me just get a minute of your time, because that's all I really need. I don't got to say a lot, just let me get a minute. So, but this was three, four days ago. Now, let me tell you what happened. When he said that, first thing I did, I went into my mode of overthinking, over planning, over attacking everything. So I started thinking like, okay, boom, let me get all the stuff. So I started getting my lights out. I'm bring, I'm busting out the big boy lights. I'm getting all the mics and the audio and stuff. I'm, I'm going to grab extra hard drives to edit with. I'm setting up elaborate schemes. I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll do a green screen or maybe I'll do some stuff where I could clone myself and it could be me talking to myself. I was doing all this and this was three, four days ago when me and him had this conversation. So what happened was, I spent so much time thinking about it that I wasn't able to do it. And that's my message today for episode one, man. Just do it. The thing is, man, so many have done so much with so little for so long that you could practically do anything with nothing at all. Don't worry about what you got and what you don't got. Don't focus on what you don't got because what you don't have will always be present. I don't care if you got the top of the line camera. You're going to say, man, I need a crane. You got a big 14 foot crane. You're going to say, man, we need a we need a helicopter to get the shot. You, it, it don't matter. Whatever you what you don't have will always be present. So don't focus on what you don't have. There's guys out here making movies from their iPhone. Well, this is a Samsung Galaxy, but. You get what I'm saying? There's people out here making movies from their phone. There are people out here doing magical stuff with very little. You know, I've been a victim in the past of, of always thinking that if I had a problem, the answer was to throw money at it. If I had an issue, I'd throw money at it. Okay, let's fix it. How much it costs to fix this? How much it costs to build this? How much it costs to do this? Who I got to pay to do this? And a lot of times, that's not what, that's not what you need to win. There's people winning now that started off with zero dollars. We live in a time now where anybody can win. Anybody. The playing field is totally fair, totally even. You can put out music now on the internet on your own. You can distribute your own stuff. You can be an Instagram star. Man, they got a dude named Tyrone running around talking about fucking niggas' wives. And he fucking famous now. He co-hosting parties with 50 Cent. That's amazing. That's comedians that's been doing stand-up comedy for years that ain't getting that type of action. So you can do anything. So don't let nobody get you caught up on what you don't have or how much money you may not have or what connects you might not have or who you're not friends with. Whatever your situation may be, you can make a difference. Right, That Chief Keef became a breakout hip-hop star from his own apartment, rapping in a video in his own apartment with his pockets. He didn't have no... Big fancy cars. He didn't have no big budget. They just had a camera. Him and his partners in the living room. Rapping. And the song became a hit. And the man got a million dollar deal. And has changed his life. You could change your life today. Don't sit around thinking about how you're going to do it. Don't sit around thinking about what it's going to take for you to do it. And most importantly, don't get caught up on if you do it, how you're going to fail. Failure keeps us, the fear of failure keeps us from doing a lot of things. Just do it. Thanks for giving me a minute. TooRealForTV.com